Hello, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net and you're watching the June 8th, 2016 Jazz Guitar Vlog. Uh, for those of you that think I talk too much in the vlogs, well, I want to tell you that the vlogs are really dedicated to, it's like a personal blog in video format where I just say what's up with my life. And I have good news about the freeze pedal because somebody, so I want to take a little run through, take a little time to show you how it works and maybe show you one exercise that I do now that I've been doing, while doing it, uh, which concerns harmony and, you know, really knowing your guitar and improvising. So we'll get to that after and stuff. Uh, I'm not shaven. And this is the natural state of the typical jazz guitar teacher online, which is stay in your studio all day and get the cabin fever. All right, more on that later. So what I've been busy with uh, recently, I've been building the new drop two course, I'm really excited about it. All the videos are done. The PDF, like the exercises are coming along. This is really great. I have good help. And there's the new girl from Ipanema tune of the month. This is the June song. So this, took up a little, a little of my time. Uh, hey, I got new gear too, I got this. That's great news. Uh, what's else I'm trying to compose for my upcoming album? So it's a painstaking project when you have snippets of songs that are written, but not like full things and say, oh, is this good enough? No, and then you start over. And so that's why it's taking up so much time. I started to do this in, well, December, I think. And it's taking a lot of my time. I wish to release it very soon, maybe September, something like that. By the end of the summer, I'll be done, hopefully. So here it is. That's the story of my life right there. I took, tried to take some days off, work outside also. Uh, I was gone four days to an upper part of Canada, um, Ontario. So if you know the French uh, communities in Canada outside of Quebec, you will be able to identify where I've been, where I drove 12 hours north to see, <laughs> to see the in-laws. Uh, so more on that uh, on another vlog. So the freeze. All right, pretty cool pedal. Uh, it's by um, Electro Harmonics. It does like a sustained pedal for, for piano. So you press it and you will just hold that chord or note. It sounds electronic, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's uh, only a button to adjust how much blend you get, so how much of this effect you get in your settings. So I put it, say, there. And you have a switch uh, here that you have uh, either a fast release or you press, you'll have a fast release, a slow release, and a latch, which would be, you just press it once and it's, that's it. So you press it once, it holds it until you press it back down. Uh, I use the slow latch, the slow, um, the middle setting, and also you can set it so you turn it off, you plug it back in by holding, by holding the pedal, and then you can decide how much time, it's like two seconds, five seconds, three seconds. I don't even know, I set it to a setting I like. What I hate about it, and that's the bad part, is this. You know, you're shooting, you're like recording in the studio, playing with musicians, and you have this chord you want to hold, it's like chord, clack, clack. So, Greg, Greg, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Greg gave me a switch that resembles like a, almost like a Game Boy or video game switch. It's a little piece of plastic. And when you press it, it does that sound. You're ready? You can barely hear it. It's like, so the, the hole is the same. I don't have to enlarge the hole. I just need to open the thing and uh, solder, like have two wires soldered to the, the other ones and that's it. So I'm gonna stop this, take my guitar up and the app and do you a little demo uh, of what I like to do with the pedal. All right, let's get going. All right, here we go for the freeze pedal demo. So here's an example of just, you know, C major chord. So it still sounds, right? of it which is just holding chords so you play a ballad and you can really strike, hold, play the other one. And it 
dies out pretty quickly too. And another use, uh, an exercise that I thought a little bit with my students, which is having a, a top note and asking yourself what else it can be. So I take middle C like this. And I say, well, this C is a C major chord. All right, fine, no problem. Strike a chord, hold it, improvise. No problem. Now ask yourself, what else the C could be? Well, I think it could be the third of A flat major. Hold it. Improvise. What else can it be? It can be the sharp 11 of G flat major. It can be the, um, the fifth of F minor. Etc. So um, there's so many examples, there's so many ways, or even the E flat major. 